In this video, we are going to talk about the fundamental parameters that the technician in and air conditioning must know about the compressors. Let's start with the first RLA. RLA indicates the consumption, the regular current that the must consume under normal working conditions, RLA. Usually this value is used by the manufacturer or used to select the cables that the compressor have in some installation. The concept number 2 FLA, the FLA is the current value that a high load compressor can have, it that the compressor can be above the RLA. The thermal relay is also a protection switch that will disconnect the compressor when the current. The FLA. Let's go now with the LRA. The LRA is the current that the compressor consumes immediately after it. Once the compressor turns on, there is a high current peak and that current peak is called LRA. These would be the three electrical parameters. Let's go now with some thermodynamic parameters. The fourth parameter that we are going to see is the LBP. LBP means that it is a compressor for low. If you see on the board that the compressor indicates LBP, it is a compressor that can be used for temperatures, usually between minus 35 and minus 10 degrees Celsius. Let's go now with the fifth parameter MBP. The compressor that has the acronym MBP is a compressor. Can be used for medium temperatures, usually between minus 10 and zero degrees Celsius. Let's go now with the sixth parameter HBP. A compressor that has the acronym HBP is a compressor. High temperatures, these applications range between 0 and 15 degrees Celsius. It may happen that we see in the same compressor, in the same label, two parameters of this type. Can see LBP and MBP, it means that the compressor can be used for low or medium temperatures. It happen that we see MBP and HBP. Let's go now with the seventh parameter. We are going to the mechanical part now, the seventh. is the LST. The LST is a compressor for low starting pair. This type of compressor does not use a capacitor. And it is used when the expansion device is capillary. So if we see in the acronym of the LST, we know that it is a compressor for low starting pair and it has to do with the type of expansion. It has, that is, in this case for capillary. Let's go now with the eighth parameter, the HST. HST is a high starting pair compressor, this high. Pair compressor requires the use of a starting capacitor. In addition, in this classification we have compressors with starting capacitors plus starting capacitors or only compressors with capacitors. Well, the last parameter that we are going to see is not a parameter called with acronyms, but it something that we must know when selecting a compressor, which is the cooling capacity. The cooling is the amount of watts, kilocalorie per hour or BTU per hour that it is capable of absorbing in the. That is, we are not going to select the compressor with the HP electric power because depending the type of compressor we have, depending on whether it is a piston, scroll, or rotary compressor, can consume certain electric energy and can have different cooling capacities, also the efficiency. The machine. Therefore, we have to change the compressor, not with the HP, but using the cooling capacity. The capacity of a compressor will depend on the evaporation temperature. We are going to have a cooling of minus 20, we are going to have a cooling capacity of minus 10, and we are going to have another capacity at another temperature value. When we select the compressor, we have to think about the cooling capacity that the previous had and select one with the same cooling capacity. 
See you in the next video. Video.